In this video, I'm going to create a C++ um, project, new project, to estimate the value of a bond, and we'll take uh, parameter values that we're familiar with. So we take a face, a maturity, a time, maturity, a periodicity, etc. And we're going to estimate the discrete valuation. Or bond valuation discrete bond valuation discrete okay and from there then we go next and then export project and finish and we must get um, our code so I've code already tested and this code is a little bit different because it doesn't implement a present value annuity structure as would have been the case here or more correctly when we looked at uh, the bond using this type of formulation the, VB, the VBA code uh, used a present value of a newty um, and that's not been implemented here okay so we want to view the solutions explorer and then input in a new item and that's a c++ file so we can call that bond valuation again discrete So we paste uh, the code and don't immediately observe any issues in terms of the code functioning. And uh, just to go through the function, we call up the library CMAT and ISO stream using names, namespace standard. Um, we initialize the value of the bond. So there's going to be the function's name is present value of bonds um, and it's a double and we're going to take on the values of face, a coupon rate, a discount rate, uh, the periodicity of the bond and the double T. So while the order is different, uh, we're using the same structure as we have here. In fact, we can try uh, this value here, so a thousand, zero point zero six, zero point five six, three and two. Okay, let's go back in. There is no annuity structure here. There is a total number of coupons, so that's T by the periodicity, so the maturity by the periodicity. We have, uh, then the coupon is calculated as the coupon rate divided by the periodicity times the face, so that the face was going to be a thousand, this will be two, and the coupon rate is six percent. And then we set up the loop, and the loop is going to generate, it's going to go, so in this instance, with a bond of this type, the loop will perform uh, three by two, so six iterations. And then we, uh, each time period as we pass through, um, we will have a time period. So if you like, uh, I is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And the time period when I is 1, M, which is 2, divided by I will be 6 months. Then when I is 2, M is 2, then I, uh, ti would be equal to one year and so on. Then we set out, uh, we have initialized the, the bond value and each time we run, run through the uh, discounting the bond, uh, we take the coupon which is has been worked out here and then we multiply that by one 
loss, the rate of interest divided by n to the power of negative the time period multiplied by n. Okay, and so that gives us the um, present value of the coupons. Uh, then we take that BV once we have worked out uh, the value of the coupons, then we add on the, pres the value of the face, so that comes in turn, because, because the face, if we go back to our calculation, the face value is the 1000 by 1 plus the rate of interest, divided by m to the power of t is the total maturity, so in this case it's 3 multiplied by m. Okay, and then we, we return BV. So the BVs accumulate here, the coupons go to the loops, that BV then in turn gets passed in here, and that then is added and it gives us our final BV. Okay, we're going to change the values here to a thousand. We're going to change the coupon rate to six percent. We're going to change the interest rate to 0, 0.56. We're going to the time period remains at two. The periodicity, the coupon, is going to remain at two, and the time period is going to be equal to three years. And so, using um, this function, we're going to estimate the value of the bond. So let's hit the debug window, debug, and let run, and the result we should get should be equivalent to 1010.91 so let's check for that and we get 1010.91 which is the same for both